That dreaded sound. You got your license, registration, insurance with you? You're imagining the worst. Don't automatically assume that I'm writing you a ticket. What are you required to do during a traffic stop? And what will make it all go a little easier? Sometimes we may be pulling you over for something very minor. But regardless of the reason for the stop, be prepared to provide three legal documents. Your driver's license, current registration, and proof of insurance. And with today's technology, that could be in the form of a mobile device. You do not want to be digging through your glove box or through your, uh, your wallet or your purse. That's Lynn Dunlap, a criminal defense attorney who's been practicing in Twin Falls for almost 30 years. He believes in letting law enforcement know where potential threats are. And when the officer comes up, advise him that you have weapons in the vehicle. During a ride along, Corporal Chris Brought with Twin Falls County asked drivers what questions they had. How far do you follow people before you get annoyed? What we're looking for is as safe a place as that person can stop as quickly as they can. Motorists have a lot of misconceptions too. If your police car is hidden, you can't stop me. People that think that if they get to their driveway, it's kind of a kick the can issue and they're able to uh, circumvent our authority. If I make three right turns, you can't stop me. Officers say that sometimes a stop could seem random, but might be part of a bigger issue. We might treat you um, as a criminal because we've had a report of something criminal that's happened and we don't know if we've got the right car or not. It's crucial that everyone keeps their attitudes in check. Do not argue. Be cooperative. If you act um, annoyed or bothered, sometimes that takes us a little bit longer to work through. During a stop is not the time to plead your case. That's why if you're looking at something that's going to affect your ability to drive, you need to go over it with an attorney. If we're stopping you, there's probably a good reason for it. If he says, I believe that you all failed to turn your signals on, you can simply say, I disagree. That's it. Make sure that your encounter is being recorded. Ask him if the tape is on, if he's recording this, and if he's not, ask him if he can. Copy. For Corporal Brat, he says it's about education and preventing a future tragedy. I like to think that perhaps I saved someone's life. Dunlap says it's important to remember that officers are people too. I have learned that no matter what I may or may not have done, at night, turning on the dome light and putting my hands up on the ceiling certainly seems to make the officers feel an awful lot better toward me. We want the, the relationship between the community and, and the police to work. I've had citations too, and um, I will tell people at the car, I know it's not pleasant. Courtesy and honesty go a long way. If somebody's honest with me and, um, you know, if they're courteous, a lot of times that goes a long way with the officer. I have a responsibility to try to make sure that the streets or the highways or in some jurisdictions an interstate are as safe as we can possibly make them and traffic enforcement is one of those duties. Kelsey Soto, KMBT News. It's officer friendly to the rescue.